Hey there, everybody. I hope that you're just having a, a decent day to yourself, because I know I sure am. Getting back on the content grind, I'm feeling really great. And, you know, by now, I'm pretty sure all of you know that I like making fun of fanboys excessively, with today being no exception. But the fanboy today is, in fact, different. You want to know why? Because he actually branched out to try new things, to try other gaming platforms, to try to experience the rest of it, or maybe not. And this guy actually made a video a while back saying how the Nintendo Switch killed the PC. And I couldn't find the original video, it seems he's taken it down by now, but the creator Griffin Gaming made a great response video on that one, and I'll link that down below, because it's definitely a good watch. And I do believe that there's actually a follow-up to this video that we're looking at today. So this may not be the last time you see our old buddy here, Harmon Smith, on this channel. And also, I would like to say that I have nothing against your personal preference of gaming platform. I just think that this guy has some really, really stupid points. So, without further ado, let's look at this Nintendo fanboy's first impressions on his PC setup. Hey everyone, I just set up my gaming PC. Uh, this is the controller I'm using, it's an Xbox One controller. I'm just gonna keep it here. Yo, just a thought, my dude, but maybe show us your, your setup and not your controller. Because for all we know, you could have just set up a webcam and started recording. Maybe you're recording on your phone. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it takes that much effort to um, move the camera just a bit to show us your PC and setup. I mean, heck, I even did it in my last video. But what do I know? This guy makes four minute videos, completely unedited and uncut. So maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, yeah, so quick thoughts on my setup. Um, nice and comfy, love my chair, love the angle, love being able to like swing around. Honestly, I think I prefer it more than my uh, couch because my couch is kind of too big. Imagine actually complaining about the size of your couch. You do know that you don't have to use an entire couch. That's kind of the, uh, the point. It's for, you know, multiple people. But anyways, this is just a petty topic. Let's move on. I probably need to replace my couch because I, I, uh, I'm starting to dislike it to a certain extent. But uh, um, the games themselves, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. Um, um, uh, dude, do you know that on um, basic editing software, um, uh, there's this thing called um, uh, cuts? It, uh kind of allows you to, um, cut out all the, uh, the, the blank spaces in between, um, uh, you know, the times when you're not speaking. Jesus Christ, that hurts to listen back to. There's absolutely nothing to buy. Nothing to buy. Nothing to buy. I mean, I know it's hard to find something, like, good to play once in a while, but if you can't take your pick out of 30,000 games, sorry, I mean, if you can't find anything to buy within 30,000 games, most of which are on the same consoles that you already play, and that's not even including the other launchers that are on PC, then that's kind of sad, not gonna lie. Like, I I'm not, I'm not kidding here. <laughs> nothing to buy like every everything i would want to buy is already re ready available on my nintendo switch or the xbox one i mean that is if you're not including all the pc exclusives all the vr games that happen to be on pc and all the playstation exclusives that aren't even available on pc like th there are no exceptions <laughs> Like, I, I think that maybe there are some Yakuza games that aren't, Xbox, that aren't on Xbox One. No exceptions. I mean, you always gotta love a bit of contradictory in there. Like, especially when it's one sentence after the other. And, and um, maybe, some, maybe some other RPGs and things like that. But uh, really, if you own an Xbox One, you basically own a PC. I mean, no. If you connect an Xbox controller up to it and play it like it's an Xbox, it can feel like it's an Xbox experience for sure. A PC is not an exclusively gaming platform. It's also here for creators just sending emails, doing business, you know, just everyday tasks. Things that I don't believe that an Xbox could do. I mean, sure, you could probably do some hacking and put, like, Linux on it, or maybe even a version of Windows, but, um, no, it's it's definitely not the same thing as a PC. Like, uh, I, I, I'm really, really surprised looking at all these, uh, the best sellers. I'm seeing, the, 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 like, the same shit that you would see in, uh, see on, like, the Xbox One store, you know? Let's see, uh, let's see, store, let's see, featured. 
Jump cuts, my dude. Do you know them? Seeing shit like, yep, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is trash. <coughs> um. Okay. Uh. Seven Days to Die, I don't know what that is. Uh. Grand Theft Auto 5, trash. Jurassic World, I'm sure that's trash. Uh. The Witcher 3, yep, yep, yep. Pure shit that, like, nobody. Nobody cares about, um... Yeah, just the, uh, you know, the most critically acclaimed and most popular games that just happen to be on Steam. Yep, it's just utter shit that nobody cares about. Because it makes total sense that they would put stuff that nobody cares about on the featured under the most popular. 10 out of 10 logic, my dude. I mean, you can have your opinions, but the fact of the matter is that those are really popular games. Stuff that, like, again, is easily accessible on... That, that's easily access accessible on Nintendo Switch or Xbox One. Do I even need to comment on this? Like, I, I really don't feel at this point that that uh, I'm getting games that uh, I couldn't have gotten on Xbox One. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just, a, just a bit of a hunch, but maybe it's because you're not looking for the games that are PC exclusives. You're just looking at the most popular games, which do happen to be on, like, most all platforms. be honest with you, I'm honestly not even sure why I would want to play on PC in general. Higher frame rates, faster refresh rates, more responsive, mouse and keyboard, customizable settings, and the list goes on. Did I mention the ability to, uh, edit jump cuts in? Because you have access to, a uh, editing software? You know what, I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he, um, just straight up doesn't have access to editing software, or doesn't have enough money to purchase it, or is just straight up not intelligent enough to find free editing software. Like, the big reason I'm coming up with is that, like, well, well, uh... I mean, I'm probably not going to keep my Xbox One forever, but my Steam account is always going to be here, so it might just be better for longevity. Yeah, I would agree. Longevity is a big one. Plus the, um, the hardware. It lasts a really long time, and if you really need to, you can always just upgrade it. Just saying. That's a good point. Maybe, but, like, other than that, like, I, I like having physical copies of games. Uh, Steam doesn't have that, um... I mean, technically you can go out and, like, buy physical copies of PC games, but you'll need an optical drive, and I, I don't think those are very practical anymore. Steam doesn't have that. Um, I like having exclusive games. Uh, Steam doesn't really have that. I... I don't really like the interface much. There's this mode called the big picture mode. I'm, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it allows you to um have a console-like interface. And it's just a better overall experience for somebody who's new to the PC space. And it's for exclusives. Oh god, he hasn't seen the anime back catalog. Oh no! Uh, I, I've been um, hunting down. What, what's on my wish list? There are... The big thing with uh, Steam for me is that I think there are some games that some older games that aren't available on Xbox One. That's because PC games aren't generational. Well, that is until the PC2, of course, comes out. Yeah, so like, I'm thinking of picking up San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 5, Trash... <coughs> I mean, I'm just pointing it out. Um, I'm thinking of playing Final Fantasy XIV online because, you know, it's an MMO. A uh, Crazy Taxi, Dress Up Radio, uh, I figured out, I found out since then that those are on Xbox One. Uh, Final Fantasy III, uh, The Silver Case, uh, which I'm sure is not on Xbox One. Uh, I'm actually really fired up about that. Uh, let's see. Horizon Zero Dawn is on the way. Death Stranding is here soon. So uh, I might actually be able to properly play and review some of the most despicable, two of the most despicable releases in the past uh, couple of years. I mean, it is true that Death Stranding wasn't the best received. However, Horizon Zero Dawn was, from what I hear, a pretty good game. This may just be an idea, but he sounds kind of like a PlayStation hater. I'm not saying he is, but he kind of just sounds like it. I, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, PlayStation BTFO. I don't know what that means, and I'm not gonna look it up, but it sounds really cringe. And Bloodborne, I'm sure, is uh, is next on the menu. Once you lose Bloodborne, what are you gonna have left? Like, really, PlayStation owners, BTFO. Like, what do you even have? God of War, Spider-Man, Dreams, I don't know. They have a lot of exclusives. Anyway, but, anyway, um, 
I, I like the utility of PC gaming. Like, I don't have any problems with the way it handled or played or anything like that. Like, it's really just the same. But maybe if you took a moment to optimize your games and then actually played them, maybe you could see that it is different, in fact. That, that's the thing, though. If it's the same, why exactly would I invest in it? It's not. Like, really, if it's the exact same, why would I bother? Um, I can tell you that I've see, I saw no difference between this and Xbox One visuals. In fact, I would say it probably looked worse than the Xbox One. What are you running, my guy? Like, a Dell Optiplex with a, a GTX 650 in it, maybe? Because then I could understand why it would look worse than Xbox visuals. But most of the time, if you have a competent rig, it, it is going to look better on PC. Maybe you didn't take the time to optimize the settings or tweak anything, but it would have been really helpful if you had showed your specs, or maybe even just your PC. J just thoughts. I, I'm just, um... I, I, I'm just not too impressed with uh, what I've seen from the PC gaming uh, demographic so far. Um, I don't think you know what demographic means. Personally, and I really do mean this, I imagine the real the real appeal in indie games, uh, uh, PC gaming is like the mods and like the, the uh, messing around with the game. That is one reason, but definitely not the main reason. Maybe I'll get a mod-friendly game. Uh, San Andreas, I believe, has plenty of mods, so maybe we'll... Maybe we'll, uh... Maybe we'll see. But anyway, uh, that's my thoughts on PC gaming. Um, it's okay, I guess. I don't hate it yet, I guess, but we'll just have to see what happens going forward. And from what I hear, there is a follow-up video on this one, so I may check that out in the future. But I guess that's it from our man Harmon Smith over here. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. It seriously helps me out in the algorithm. And if you really, really like this video, maybe consider possibly subscribing. And for my final shameless plug, join the Discord. It is so much fun down there. We have the best of times. But with that all out of the way, I wish you all the most fantastic day, including you, Mr. Harmon Smith, and until next time. If you made it this far, compliment me on my graphic design skills, please. And by the way, I don't watch anime.